A 13-year-old boy idolizes his father, Mark Redwine, until he stumbles upon what would send him into absolute shock. Sexual photos of his father not only dressed up as a woman and in women's lingerie, but also eating feces from a diaper. Seeing his father eating Duke from a diaper with it all over his mouth made 13-year-old Dylan Redwine instantly throw up and not want to visit his father for a whole year. On November 18th, 2012, Dylan Redwine had enough and without hesitation, he decided to visit his father and confront him about these photos and this confrontation would turn into a deadly crime. This is the disturbing story of Mark and Dylan Redwine. Mark Allen Redwine was born on August 24th, 1961. At the time of Dylan's 2012 visit, Redwine lived in La Plata County, a rugged and mountainous area of Southwest Colorado. Twice divorced, Redwine had two children with his ex-wife Elaine and was involved in a custody battle over their 13 year old son. Dylan Redwine didn't want to visit his father and told his brother Corey that he was upset and uncomfortable with him likely because, in 2011, both brothers had seen photos on their father's computer that horrified them. The photos showed their father dressed in a wig and women's lingerie eating what appeared to be feces from a diaper. They were on record stating that with it all over his mouth, it looked like he was eating pumpkin pie the way he was devouring the diaper. Unfortunately, it only looked like pumpkin pie. Later on, they would find out the horrifying truth of what it actually was. Dylan and his father's relationship declined over the months and Dylan asked his brother Corey to send him the sordid photos of their father prior to his visit in November so he could confront his dad. Elaine Hall, Dylan's mother, was concerned about the visit, seeing how upset he had been around Mark Redwine. However, her attorney told her she could face prosecution if Dylan did not fly out to see his father. So Dylan gets on the plane and he's flying to see his father, but while this flight is happening, his brother Corey and his father get into an argument through text. Corey had it revealed to Mark Redwine that he knew about the photos and antagonized his father saying, hey beautiful, you are what you eat, look in the mirror. Mark tells Corey, if these photos are mentioned ever again, I will end the lives of you and your brother. Unfortunately for Dylan, he did not get the memo of this text and he was ready during that flight once he landed to confront his father pictures in hand about the photos. On November 18th, 2012, Redwine collected his son at the Durango La Plata County Airport and surveillance footage from the airport and a Walmart in Durango showed hardly any personal interaction between Redwine and his son. Dylan had wanted to spend the night of his arrival at a friend's house, but Redwine had refused and they both stayed at Mark Redwine's house that evening. Through text messages, Dylan had arranged to visit his friend's house at 6.30 a.m. the next morning and his last communication with anyone on his phone that night was at 9.37 p.m. when Dylan's friend texted him at 6.46 in the morning on November 19th asking where Dylan was, he received no response. Mark Redwine later claimed that he left his house that morning to run some errands and returned home to find his son missing. Dylan's mother, however, immediately suspected that Redwine wasn't telling the truth. This would lead into a large-scale search of the woods and mountains surrounding Redwine's home. Within days of Dylan's disappearance, another of Redwine's ex-wives told investigators of a previous disturbing conversation with Redwine, in which he said that if he ever had to get rid of a body, he would leave it out in the mountains. Redwine had also chillingly told his ex-wife Elaine that during their divorce and custody proceedings, that he would end the lives of his children before he let her have them. More than seven months later, on June 27, 2013, Dylan Redwine's partial remains were located on Middle Mountain Road, roughly 100 yards off an ATV trail and about 8 miles from Redwine's house. Interestingly, a witness had observed Mark Redwine driving alone in the area in April of 2013, after which he left town, failing to return to search for Dylan in June 2013. 
Redwine was also very familiar with Middle Mountain Road and owned an ATV. Upon the discovery of the boy's remains, Mark Redwine had a suspicious conversation with another son, discussing how the rest of Dylan's body, including his skull, would have to be found before investigators could determine if blunt force trauma was the cause of death. While all this was going on, Redwine and his ex-wife, Dylan's mother, made a bizarre appearance on Dr. Phil in 2013, where he and Dylan's mother leveled accusations at each other and Redwine notably refused a polygraph test. Mark Redwine also stated that eating his own feces mixed with animal feces in a diaper is a sexual turn-on for him, that he is no longer embarrassed to admit this because the photos are now out there on the internet. In August 2013, police detected the presence of Dylan's blood and human cadaver scents in multiple locations of Redwine's living room, according to court documents. A canine also indicated the presence of human remains in the living room and a washing machine, as well as on the clothes Redwine had reported wearing on the night of November 18th, 2012. A later search of Redwine's vehicle in February 2014 by the same dog handling team also indicated the presence of cadaver scent in several areas of the Dodge truck. On November 1st, 2015, some hikers found Dylan Redwine's skull further up Middle Mountain Road. The Colorado Parks and Wildlife Division confirmed the location of Dylan's remains and later his skull. No animal known to the area would carry a body that distance up the mountain and no animal would then transport the skull an additional one and a half miles through that terrain. Mark Redwine was arrested for second degree murder and child abuse following a July 17th, 2017 grand jury indictment. Just keep your hands up, buddy. Just keep your hands up. No, we won't. Watch the cab. I got the cab. Around me. Go around back. Yep. Just keep your hands up. Don't move, bud, okay? Do not move. Drop a cigarette. You guys can, you'll explain to me what's going on? Yes, sir. Is your name Mark? Yes, it is. He's detained. Mark is detained. Mark, do you have any weapons on you, sir? No, sir, I do not. Rolling my way? Yeah. Just gotta check you, okay, Mark? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rolling that way. Yeah. You gotta check that side? Yeah. Put my wallet in that pocket. Just the wallet. Alright. You're gonna turn towards me and sit on your phone, alright? Alright. So go ahead and bend this knee in. Are you Mark? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm the sergeant. Did you say you, uh, you asked to speak with me? Well, I was asking a few questions. First of all, I'm trying to understand what exactly is going on. Okay. Um, before we get going here, I do got to let you know I am equipped with the body worn camera records both. And finally went on trial in 2021 after several COVID-19 restriction delays. A forensic anthropologist testified that Dylan suffered a fracture above his left eye and that two marks on his skull were likely caused by a knife at or near the time of his death. The prosecution said the photographs triggered a fatal rage in Mark Redwine and revealed some telling details of Dylan's first night missing. Through DNA testing, it was determined that Mark Redwine ended the life of his son, and on October 8th, 2021, Mark Redwine was sentenced to 48 years in prison, with the sentencing judge summarizing Redwine's appalling actions. As the father, it's your obligation to protect your son, keep him from harm. Instead of that, you inflicted enough injury on him to kill him in your living room. Over pictures of you eating feces-filled 
diapers. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more of true crime told in minutes, please subscribe and hit that notification button.